Welcome back to the ABC Networking YouTube channel. My name is Dobias van Ingen. This is the fourth video in the Aruba Central Switch Template series. And in this video, we are going to have a look how we can start using condition statement in our template. But before we dive in, let's quickly recap. We started in this video series with setting the layout of our architecture and then we connecting a 2930F 8 port switch to watch Aruba Central. We created a template group added the switch to a template group and in the last video series we have been creating a template and even have been start playing around with customized variables and this is where i think everybody really saw the power of templates and also the power of the dynamics and skill that templates can bring to the infrastructures you maybe need to operate in this video as said we're going to look at condition statements but before we dive into the condition statement let's first have a look what a condition statement is so and i want to try to explain this via this example. So let's say you want to buy an ice cream. So you want to buy an ice cream and the price of an ice cream is $2. In your wallet, you have $4. So now we can make the statement, for example, if wallet is larger or equal than ice cream, then the price of an ice cream, I can buy an ice cream but if the wallet is smaller than the ice cream then I can't I can't buy an ice cream so what you can see here is so if wallet so if four is larger or equal than ice cream so then two so if four is larger or equal than two then I can buy an ice cream. So that means if this statement is true, then this is being executed. But if, for example, it's like this, so if wallet, so that's one, is larger or equal than ice cream, two, that's not the case because it is smaller, then this doesn't get executed, you will execute this else statement and you can't buy an ice cream. So this is my very brief example of a condition statement. So let's close this one off and now go back to the examples that we want to build. So let's start with this example. If what can we do in our templating with condition statements? So for example, I have here if ABC hostname. What I do there is if I check if ABC hostname is a variable, if that variable exists. And remember that this was our variable file, and you can see that ABC hostname was existing in here. But let's say if you have multiple uh, of these objects so you have multiple switches and one switch has ABC hostname in there and the other switch doesn't have ABC hostname variable set then what you can do here what you see in this sta statement if that variable is available then the hostname will become the value of that variable else so else that means hey if the variable is not set for this particular device then it will just be the hostname so that is a check that you can use inside your templating that will bring in a lot of flexibility uh, for, for if you want to scale out your, uh, uh, your infrastructure. What you also can do, so here we check if this variable exists. In this example, we check if that variable has a certain host name. So here I say if ABC host name equals ABCN switch 01. So if we compare that back to the variable cell, is this variable needs to have uh, the value here needs to be set on ABCN switch one. If that's the case, then the host name will be uh, the value of that variable. If that's not the case, then the host name will be the default system host name. So that is something that we can do. So if we want to start using that in our template, so let's start with the first one and let's try and execute that one. So this was uh, the template we had configured in our, uh, in our last video. So now in the conditions, we're going to add this if block around the hostname sections and the rest will be the same. So let's see here, you have the basic ABCN. So let's edit this one. You can see this is the template we've been pushing. So what if we copy this one in? We copy this part around this hostname. And then you can see we, we remove this hostname section because we already have that in there. So what we do here, is let me set it right so what we do here is 
if ABCN hostname, then the hostname will be the hostname of ABCN, else it will be the system default name. So let's save this off, see if it will be accepted. It is accepted. Let's go here to the console of this particular device. Okay, there we are. So first let's check if it is connected to Aruba Central. Yes. Uh, and you can already see that the hostname is set to ABCN hostname. Let me do a show run. You can also see it in here. So if you go to configuration audit, you can see that we have zero uh, errors and zero failed changes. So the reason why this my hostname is still ABCN, if you go to variables, you can see that ABCN hostname is set. So what if we uh, either can remove the variable, but for example, what we can also do is just uh, change this one, uh, let's say hostname one, uh, and then it will be set to that variable. So let's see what will happening now. Okay, I saved it. Let's see if something goes wrong. No, all fine. Then let's see if something is happening here. Hey, you can see that the host name is now changed to the system default because it can't find that variable. Okay, now let's change it back to again, see the working of this one. Change it back to ABC hostname. The ABC hostname variable is set. So let's see. Sometimes it takes a few seconds before it's being pushed. And there you go. The variable has been set correctly. Okay, I think that's pretty well understood. So now it checks it if there is a variable existing. If it is existing, it will set that particular example. Now let's look at another example. In this one, let's, let's look at an example where we check if a certain variable is being used. Here we check the same thing, but you can see here if ABC hostname is this particular value, then it will be set to this, this uh, variable value, otherwise it will be set to the default. So let's see what, what if, we, if we do this one. Oh. Let's edit the template. Okay, equals, so we not check if this is not only existing, we check if it is existing and also have this value. So let's save it. Let's see if there's any errors. No, let's go back here. Probably you will not see anything change because the variable is already set correctly. So what if we edit it again and we say it needs to be on OBCN, ABCN switch 02 value? See if there's any errors. No, let's go back to the template. And now you see it's being changed back to the system host name because uh, what we check, if you go to the variables, we now check if ABC and host name is ABC and switch 02. And that's uh, false. So that's why it will drop to the else part. So let's change it back again to see the working one more time. The variable is set to ABC and host name one. Let's save it. Let's give it a couple of seconds and then after a few seconds, it is changed back. Let's verify and change back. So this is, this is one example how you can start using, if you have, for example, 10, 20, 40, or maybe hundreds of switches of the same type, and you want to do just a tiny uh, changes in there. So another one that you, for example, can do is if you want to differentiate between interfaces of multiple switches. So let's say you create a variable called interface eight stat one and you set, you verify if that is on one or not. And if it is on one, then you can say, okay, now this interface needs to be enabled if that variable is not set or is set to other value than one, then uh, you need to disable the interface. So for uh, if you have specific equipment only on a certain switches where you want to make these changes, then you, what you can do is, for example, here, you have then two different objects in your variable, uh, in your variable file, 
which are two different types of switches and where you can start um, you know, start enabling this variable here. You see interface 8 stat is set to 1 and this one not. So that means on this switch it will be disabled, on this one that interface will be enabled. So this way you can also start playing around with this condition statement in your templates to differentiate between certain values. Okay? Then this is a short video. I want to stop here. I uh, hope you liked the video. Please do a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave comments. In the next video, I'm going to build out the template much more heavily with multiple VLANs. I'm also going to have how we can start adding tag and untag ports and how we can identify multiple values to a variable uh, to make sure that we can start automating and deploy this configuration. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you next time.